Hi and welcome back to StepbyStepGuitarTuition.com This is the first lesson in the Step 1 module for intermediate players. In this lesson we're going to look at a new chord family called Suspended 4th Chords, or Sus 4s for short. At this point you should be confident with all the major, minor, dominant 7th, major 7th and minor 7th open chord shapes that we've looked at in the previous modules. And if you are, then you're ready to move on to Sus 4s. You'll find the chord boxes and other useful information in your lesson notes. Ok, let's have a look at the four suspended fourth chord shapes. A sus4, C sus4, D sus4 and E sus4. We'll start with A sus4. First form an A major chord and then you can either, either move your third finger up into the next fret, into the third fret strum the five strings or if you prefer you can bring your fourth finger and hold down that third fret on the second string so whichever one you prefer really your third finger up or you can just add your fourth finger so if you practice changing from A to A sus4 A, A sus4 Now let's take a look at C sus4. Start with an open C major chord shape and then lay your first finger across the top two strings in the first fret and add your fourth finger to the third fret on the D. Um, you can leave your second finger on if you wish, or you can take it off and then strum the top five strings. So practice changing from C to C sus4. Okay, let's move on to D sus4. So if you start with an open D major chord and then put your third finger on the top string in the third fret and strum the top four strings. You can either leave your second finger on or you can you can take it off whichever whichever you prefer. So practice changing from D to D sus4. Add your little finger. D D sus4. And lastly, E sus4. Start from an open E major chord and then add your fourth finger onto that second fret on the third string. Play all six strings. You can leave your first finger on or you can take it off, whichever you prefer. So E and then E sus4, your little finger goes on. So that's all four open suspended fourth chord shapes and to keep those open chord shapes fresh in your head you need to add them to your major, minor, dominant seventh, major seventh and minor seventh chord drill like this. A, C, D, E, G, A minor, D minor, E minor, a7, B7, C7, D7, E7, G7, A major 7, C major 7, D major 7, E major 7, F major 7, G major 7, A minor 7, D minor 7, and E minor 7. And then you've got your sus4 shapes. A sus4, C sus4, D sus4, and E sus4.
Later in this module you'll find some chord progressions to help you practice mixing up all the chord shapes that you've learned so far. And that's it for this lesson. I look forward to seeing you in lesson two where I'll show you how to play some Dorian and Phrygian modal scales. I'll see you then.